I'm on my way to work. It's always a performance. I perform for them and I make them perform for me. Today, I'm going to let them touch me. I know they want to. They told me. They told me at work. I'm on my way to work and I'm going to perform for them. I'm going to let them touch me. I know they'll like it. I'm on my way to work. Uh, so it was actually fairly um, uncomfortable. Uh, it's not an activity that you know I would have any experience with. It's not something that I enjoy uh, doing. As I guess suppose that sort of violent physical contact is not the sort of thing that um, <clears throat> uh, it felt extremely voyeuristic and somewhat awkward to be doing this in the cafeteria. Um, Yeah, I, I, those those were the two primary things. Those were the two primary things. I remember it feeling weird, um, only because I'd never felt her hair before like that. Um, and I remember the scent of her hair, or the hairspray, hair products that she used, um, actually lasting on my hands for, for a while, probably the rest of the afternoon. Yeah, it was definitely odd. It was crazy. It was uh, it was memorable. <laughs> um, gosh, I don't even know what to say. Um, never quite had an experience quite like that. Just felt like God, I don't know. Stop it. <laughs> felt like I was doing something I wasn't supposed to be doing, but wanted to do. So it was um, definitely uh, an interesting experience. I had never uh, been uh, involved with anything like this, and uh, had a had a good time and um, a lot of fun. Uh, it was definitely the first time. Uh, it was soft, uh, you know, a little strange, weird at first. Um, uh, I guess like the first time for anything. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I never, never did it. Never, never did that before. So, uh, but made my hands feel like you know shiny afterwards. Um, so, like I said, a little awkward in the beginning, but pretty much it.